The Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800 is one of the most versatile charcoal grills and smokers on the market. Not only does it have a griddle attachment that you can use right on the main cooking surface, they also have a Gravity Series rotisserie kit. I'm very excited about this, so today we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna get it attached to this Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800, and we're gonna see what this rotisserie kit is all about. Now let's get into it. Years ago, I remember being in Lowe's and seeing these gigantic stainless steel grills with a rotisserie kit on it, and I was thinking to myself, who in the world would spend all of this money and then use a rotisserie on it? But here we are, five, six, 10 years later, and I've got the rotisserie kit for the Masterbuilt Gravity Series grills, and we're gonna get it attached to this 800. Now, I do a lot of, of chickens and prime ribs and different kind of roasts in which this rotisserie kit would be absolutely perfect for. So let's get this thing opened up. Let's see what kind of assembly is required, and let's see if we can get it attached today. Now these Masterbuilt rotisserie kits run about $120 on the Masterbuilt website, but I've seen them as cheap as like $80 or $90 at Home Depot. So don't be scared by the price because you can always find it a little bit cheaper. Now the cool thing about this kit is it can fit any of the Masterbuilt Gravity Series. As you can see, we have three of the rods and they're three different lengths. You can see that here. And that's gonna be for the 560, the 800, and the 1050. So no matter what Masterbuilt Gravity Series grill you've got, you can use it on it. All right, so the first thing that we have to do is open up the grill and you need to take the top and the middle shelves out. The reason why is because the rotisserie kit's gonna span across the center of the grill and we can't have these racks in there. I'm gonna set them on the shelf below. Now we've got all of this space opened up. Now it's pretty simple instructions here. For once, it's only six steps. Now let's get into it. The first step is to remove the rotisserie plug. So there's actually a little plug right in here. You use a flathead screwdriver. Got a big one here. We're gonna get in here and just unscrew that. It's not very tight and it appears to be coming right out. Set this off to the side because you have to remove the rotisserie kit when you're not gonna be using it. So I'm just gonna screw this back together and set this in my garage where I'm not gonna lose it. The next step is to take the new neck flange. This is going to slide through from the inside of the grill like this. And then you'll see that the motor needs to attach right here. And it actually has a slot here that it hangs and you will screw this flange in tight to the motor. And there's actually a wrench that is provided by Masterbuilt that you'll use to tighten it down. We have a bracket here. This bracket is what the rotisserie rod itself attaches to on the opposite end of the motor. We're gonna screw this in with three screws. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna start the top screw. They're formatted in a triangle shape. And once you get one screw started, you can actually hang that in place like so. And then we'll get the other two screws inserted, which suggests using a magnetic screwdriver if you got one, because if you drop one of these, it's gonna fall right down in the grill or maybe even set a cloth underneath. That way, there's no chance if you're losing it. Next step involves the rod itself. So we're using the Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800, so we're gonna grab that center rod, set the other two off to the side, and this is what the meat is actually gonna go on. Now, this will hold up to 20 pounds of meat, and you gotta remember, based off of what you're using, you might have to use some butcher twine, but essentially, you're just looking to put these meat claws in for right now, and you would just loosen these or tighten these with these little wing nuts, so that you can pinch whatever protein that you're using and keep it tight on this rotisserie. When it comes to inserting the rotisserie rod, the square end here goes into the motor. Now there's a shaft and you'll line that thing up and you'll feel it because you'll be able to push it in a little bit deeper, just like so. You want this end, this tip and groove to line up right with the bracket like so. So essentially what will happen is this will sit here and turn just like that. 
Now the last step of attaching this rotisserie is to get the plug. Now they come with a bunch of universal adapters, but this is America, so we're gonna put the America plug on it. Basically, it lines up and you twist and lock in place if you need to remove it. If you're traveling with your grill to another country, you just press that button, twist and unlock. Now today, I'm gonna to be smoking some chickens on this rotisserie kit and on this Masterbuilt Gravity Series 800. So I'm actually going to remove my two bottom grates. That way I know that there's nothing in the way. We've got the rotisserie kit plugged in. Let's make sure it works. Oh, baby. Check that out. Now that's it for the Masterbuilt Rotisserie Kit installation. Super simple, six steps, and it is ready to rock and roll. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of B-roll of some rotisserie chicken that I'm about to put on. If you like this video, be sure to check out another one from Anderson Smoke Show, and I'll see you then.